Hi guys, I am back with a video real quick. Uh, this is going to be part of the Saturday morning makes that Jill Norwood, um, I think it's Greenwood Girl Cards, um, she hosts on YouTube every Saturday. Um, so this is what I spent my time yesterday uh, working on is not only some Christmas tags, but then just some everyday tags to have on hand. Uh, the products I used are this um, stamp and die and hot foil plate set by The Greetery. Um, this just got released, I think, within the past two weeks. And if you don't have this um, and, you're, and you like hot foiling and you like tags, I would really suggest getting it. It is very addictive. Um, so the set comes with... Um, several stencils, it comes with a hot foil plate to do your tags, it comes with hot foil sentiments, um, and then it comes with the dies to cut out two tags at once, and obviously the plate uh, foils two tags at once as well. And then this is a complimentary set that comes, this is a set that um, kind of goes with the tags, and it is called Tag Team Duo Holiday, and it um, creates uh, let's see here. It creates these um, like holiday florals around your sentiments. So I'll show you some of the tags I made here that aren't complete. Uh, because the process goes so quick, you can just make a whole bunch of tags at once. Um, and then you can set up in your Misty and, and stamp uh, two tags at once as well. Um, so these are some of the ones that aren't done yet. So. I have some gold foil. This one is just um, gold foil on red cardstock. These are uh, foiled um, in like a copper color on black. And then these are all craft. And I'll, I'll probably fin end up finishing these today. And these are my finished tags. Um, these are just, these are primarily Christmas tags that I'm either going to I don't know if I'm going to give them away as a gift or, or what I'm going to do yet, but so these four right here were made using the stencil um, and it comes with like two different stencils that you can overlap and create this like checker pattern. So I actually did these four in just some black VersaFine ink um, and then attached um, some of the hot foil sentiments and popped them up on foam tape. And then I have this one that's just um, hot foiled on red cardstock, just kind of kept it simple. And then I have these two that are um, hot foiled in gold on white cardstock and I just added um, the, the floral stamps around it and then I added some Actually, it's this right here, uh, Studio G glitter glue. So basically like the cheaper version of stickles. And then this one I made using the polka dot stencil and I actually heat embossed it with this, uh, let's see, Zing uh, metallic gold. And then this sentiment right here is from uh, Pink Fresh Studio. And then I made these two as well. These are, I was just kind of messing around. I used a six by six stencil. Um, it was just a snowflake stencil that was by Cartabella. Um, I just put it on a white cardstock. I stenciled them and then um, I heat embossed the my stencil. And then I went around it with some oxide inks just until I got some colors that I liked. Um, and then these two sentiments here again are from Pink Fresh Studio. And now I also made some tags that are um, like unrelated to Christmas. And I think this is where I'll end up using this set the most is just tags to use all throughout the year with the exception of Christmas. Um, so I made these two here using the large stripe stencil and this distress embossing glaze. And I absolutely loved how these turned out. Then obviously I just used one of the uh, foiled sentiments and, and popped it up on foam tape. 
And then again with this one, just use some black and copper foil and popped it up. These two I am also in love with, so I think I'm going to make several more of these. Um, these I use the large stripe stencil again, but this time I used this um, embossing powder by Catherine Poulter called Skylight, and it's super duper like chunky, but the way that it embosses um, is really kind of incredible. If I get close, I don't know if it's going to come through on camera, but it's uh, almost like it has like a depth to it. Just really pretty. And then the last one here is again using the gold embossing powder. Um, and then I just changed out the sentiment for like a more of an everyday or a birthday type sentiment. Um, and that is it for um, what I accomplished yesterday for my Saturday morning makes.